All right, let's play some Dead Estate, just for a little bit. I, I don't know. I've been meaning to play more of this, and I'm gonna bump this down to easy because I suck. It's like nine o'clock. I'm tired. I just wanted to play a little bit of this game because it's been it's been in my head ever since. Uh, ooh, damage numbers. I don't remember that. It's been in my head ever since it came out uh, a week ago, but I haven't uh, had the time to sit down and play it just because I've been focused on so many other things. I, you know, for me nowadays, my uh, whoop, and I deserve that. There we go. This might be a little loud. Let's turn it down a smidge. Uh, and then nowadays my life is is very much just like pick a couple of games, cover them. There we go. Yeah, pick a couple of games, cover them. Otherwise, just do one-offs and everything. And so for me, it was just kind of I, I don't know. It's just been a wild mess over the last like couple weeks, months of just like too many games that I'm actually really jazzed about and way too little time to cover any of them to full satisfactory completion. And nice thing about roguelikes is there's no real feeling of like, you need to go back and play more of this immediately, but also like you can pick it up in a year and it's still gonna be about the same. You can't really do the same thing with like, oh gosh, like a JRPG. Like you finish a, or you stop playing a JRPG, it's freaking weird to go back to a JRPG like two years later and be like, I don't remember anything of what was going on, and I don't remember why I was doing this or where I'm going, and I don't remember how to play, and it's just kind of a mess. Uh, so I've always been kind of in, in that like position of like, well, if I'm committed to finishing a game that is a linear story, then I'm stuck with it. Whereas a roguelike, I can just be like, eh, I'm just going to play like two episodes of Dead Estate, and then just, I almost walked right into this guy. That could have been bad. I should maybe leave that. Now we need the money. More than the health. There we go. Hey, Wonder. Excited to see you picking up more Dead Estate. Yeah, you. <laughs> I. Uh, I'm more or less just talking. Just talking about that. How it's kind of nice to be able to just pick this game up kind of whenever I feel like it. Ooh, pepper spray applied directly to the eyes. Yeah, how did uh, how launch go for this? I, I've been paying a little bit of attention, but, uh, busy week. Enemies release a barrage of projectiles and other enemies on death. Mm. But yeah, I've been meaning to play more of this, but since it was a roguelike, I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll get to it when I can get to it. I switch to the pepper spray and get, get a spraying. I think it might be a damage over time. No, it's a flamethrower. actually convinced that this is better. But I'm not convinced it's not better. The big issue with it, I can't tell what the hell's going on when I'm using it. That's a big downside. Okay, I don't know what item I just got. Replaces your bullets with cookies and increases their damage. <gasps> That's amazing! Okay, so I got 405. Point card. Buying three items from the witch on the same floor gives you some money, health, and ammo back. Oh, that's good. And if they're stunned for a second after entering a room, increases your movement speed. I mean, those are good. Let's go check the, uh, the med shop real quick. Because for me, increasing damage is really good. I've been thrilled about launch. Don't know if I'm allowed to disclose specifics, but everyone on this end is giddy. Started mapping out what we want to add to the game next. Now we can continue to improve every little thing. That's exciting. I, uh, oof. Eh, you want to... You want to just, eh, let's hold up on those stats. Because I bet I can get the block of ice. Because I know the point card would have been great. Block of ice or... I'm just going to get the marshmallow bunny. There we go. Let's just break those. There we go. I like the fact that I can see my damage numbers now. Those are nice. She has big, um... Yeah. She does in fact have big uh. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely adore the idea of roguelikes that are done, you know, not launching early access, but there's still more to be it, more to be done with them. That's kind of one of the reasons why I Yeah. 
I dislike a lot of early access games just in general is because it doesn't feel like they're complete and it's just like, what's the point of me playing this at the moment? I get really exhausted. Ooh, ah, shoot. I should have saved my money. If I had saved my money, I could have actually gotten that point card. Eh, whatever. It's fine. We'll buy whatever on the next. I'm not even sure if I care to buy uh, the point card anyway. Tip, you can destroy weapons by holding shift. Is there actually a benefit to destroying weapons or does it just get rid of it? Because I know some games let you recycle, but not all of them. But yeah, I, I'm super garbage at finishing games. Um, <laughs> if it wasn't for this YouTube channel, uh, slash Twitch channel, I actually would not finish almost anything. There's a couple of games that I will go out of my way to finish. But it's rare. Most of the time, I just kind of, I don't want to say I lose interest really quickly, but I get to, I get to a certain point and I stop. Usually it's like an act change or some major rising action. Uh, so I, like, I specifically spent a night the other day uh, just writing down all of the different points in er a bunch of different JRPGs and where I fell off the bus with them. Well, there's the point card that I was going to save up for, but I guess I don't need to. But I think a lot of it also boils down to a lot of games don't really... don't really respect time. And a lot of games are really there to keep you there for as long as possible. And there's something kind of very satisfying about games that are just like, no, actually, we're, we just kind of expect you to play like a little bit and then you're good. Uh, I could use a little bit more money. Since we got the whole point card business, we kind of want to maximize usefulness on that owl. Who knows, I'm going to get lucky here. Maybe not. Short games too, you know, finishing inside last night was glorious. It was just like, hey, I'm done. I never have to think about this game again, except for, you know, it's, oh, damn it. Uh... You know, that game's gonna sit in my head for a little while. Probably until I do a video talking about architecture. There we go. Just powering through old games could be a pain. Yeah, I I recently started powering through the Fire, Final Fantasy games, actually kind of for this reason. As a personal challenge to myself to say like, yeah, I can actually beat a game. I don't actually care to buy any of these. Do I want to grab that? Mm, yeah. Let's see if I can kill fast enough. I should do enough damage, I hope. Okay. Luckily, that extra movement speed is really helping out here. Are, oh, these guys. Definitely need some stronger weaponry. Okay, Demon Lung. Fire will burn enemies for a longer amount of time and do more damage. Sure. Why not? I also have a shit ton of money. Good stuff. Oh. Secret room. I just bumbled right into that one. Okay, what do you got? Weapon rooms will contain two weapon chests instead of one. Taking damage will give you money, increases your accuracy. Well, I can't actually buy all of these. I mean, I could buy this. I want to see what this does. Three items from the witch on the same floor gives you some money, health, and ammo back. And in retrospect, I'm just going to save it, save the juice. I have a problem starting games because I have a problem finishing games. I have no problem starting games. I will load a game up for 30 minutes and be like, oh man, I had a full experience with that and I never want to play it again. It's really getting over that like initial... I, I think for me, half the, t half the fun of a game is figuring out what the developers did differently. Uh, you know, so like loading up a turn-based RPG, trying to figure out like, okay, what is the twist on the combat system here that actually makes it good? And most of the time, the answer is jack shit. Uh, 
every once in a while there's one that has like a really interesting combat system that actually makes it super worthwhile. I think enemies on easier difficulties are just considerably slower and less aggressive. I'll take it. I'm not big on hard right now. Okay. Oh, I do get money out of that. Sweet. Uh, let's see. There we go. Whoop. Well, shoot. There we go. Plenty of HP back. I think there's an unhealthy need to finish games and you should just play play until you've had your fun. And I can get into people's heads about video games. For me, not finishing games is mostly just frustrating because after a while, uh, a lot of games start feeling kind of meaningless. And I default back to... I don't, I don't know necessarily what I default to. But there's this kind of listless feeling when I'm playing a game of, like... I, uh, how would I describe it? It's like reading a thousand, uh, the first chapter of a thousand books. Oh, there are, there are in fact enemies in here. Like, there's merit to them, but after a while, like, you get really sick of those kind of beginning tropes. And a lot of the best bits of a lot of games is later. Not always, but for, like, RPGs and stuff, you want to get to the really silly parts of the plot? You gotta, you really gotta push on until you get to the end. gonna check. Doubt- I have no idea how to find secrets in this game, but still. Yeah, I can't- I can't afford the- uh, the tank man doll if I want it. I do have a lot of money. Let's, uh, let's kill the boss first. For me, though, part of the reason why I want to start finishing games... Uh, how is this game in one line? Oh, gosh. Haunted Mansion... Oh. Haunted Mansion horror roguelike where, with a lot of weird guns and cool power-ups. Eat cookies. I'm currently beating on an egg with cookies. Holy shit, I killed it. Let's go get some ammo. These tennis balls are great. Can overheal. I mean, clearly no. Did you just cookie clicker that egg demon to death? Yes. Huh. I guess he's just pieced out. Whatever. I don't need to try and fight him. Picking up hearts at full health gives money as well. Ah, got it. I was wondering about that. Well, I'm definitely doing better, but I think I owe a lot of that to an easier difficulty. That's fine, though. I don't know. I For me right now, easy is good. I've been like... I'm not going to say stressing about... Stressing about trying to finish Metroid Dread... But, like, I'm so close, I'm at the final boss, but it's, like, freaking hard. I know a lot of people like stupid, hard things and get a rise out of that and convince the developers to let them put, you know, their hoodie in the game as a result. Me, on the other hand, I don't know. Can't do it. <laughs> it just destroys me. That was weird. Uh, well... I got 127 tennis balls, that should be good enough for this. Yeah, final boss in Metroid Dread is awesome. What the shit? What are these things? I don't like that. I don't like her either. I don't care much for the meat cube either. Ow. Okay, we got whatever it is. Slightly improves max health, jump height, speed, and reload times. Well, that's lovely. 
But I really need to... Oh, boy. What I especially need, though, is some range. This shotgun is a little short. How is it in terms of enjoyment and goodness? Oh, it's great. It's probably one of the best... I'm going to call it an arcade roguelike. Uh, Jesus Christ, whatever the hell this is is freaking me the hell out. I still don't know what it is. And I'm still not comfortable with what it is. Um, but an easier way I could also describe it is kind of very similar to Binding of Isaac. Uh, but with more of kind of like a grindhouse horror flick as opposed to poop demon uh, vibes. If that makes more sense. Yeah. Probably should have bought some items, but you know what? We still got the rest of the level to see, see what I can get. Arrow. Bullets travel further. Bonus coin every time you break a pot or kill an enemy. Or gun nut. Mm, no, that's bad. Let's grab a paycheck and try and save up enough for arrow. I should be able to get enough. Is the witch all of the NPCs? No. They're all different. Clearly. Can't you tell? They're wearing different outfits. But yeah, from my perspective, I like, uh, say, Binding of Isaac, for example. I like it a lot, but I, I find I get really tired of the whole poop thing just a little bit too much. This is a little bit more, I hate to use the word palatable because I think that's a bad way of phrasing it. But at least it's it's the closest I can come up with. There we go. Oh, I did get a... Wait, no, I did... I don't think I got an HP up out of that. I thought I did for a hot second. I was like, what? Is a thing. Oh, no, I'm trying to pick up the heart on the map. Like a fool. Jelly bean box. Pots sometimes drop jelly beans. Collecting four heals you. Hey! Isaac is gross in art style and nice in game light. Yup! And it's like, I wish I could love it more. But I just, I can't nowadays. I and mean, also, Isaac has just too much. That I would, I would love to play like a Binding of Isaac condensed version. Where you take all of the goodness, give it two difficulty modes again, get rid of a lot of the, like, really wild secrets, and just give it a lot more lateral variety in terms of bosses. And then, um... And then you condense down a lot of the power-ups into just the best ones, and the most interesting ones. Because I think, I think there would actually be a lot of market for that, at least for me. Isaac is too slow for you. Huh. I mean, I can understand that. I like... I like slower paced because it means I can actually pay attention. Also, that all, it really does kind of depend on... Whoa, okay. So we've got a super flamethrower or a broadsword. Oh. Well, damn it. I was really hoping I could try all of them. Alas... I guess I have the broadsword, which is maybe not the best for me right now, but is what it is. A better weapon box spacing is on the list of things to improve. Thank you. Because, yeah, it's not... It's not bad. I think that's mostly my fault for not realizing that I, uh, can't just, like, pick them up like that. Uh, let's grab the key while we're here, actually. And then let's go spend this egregious amount of wealth. A dev is in chat. Publisher, really. And friend. Okay. We're going back. I do really appreciate all of the extra time that I have. Though, I definitely hear bad boy. I could... Can I buy more? I guess I can. I'm not going to, though. 
Okay, so we want to. We don't want gun nut, but we do want arrow. Oh, arrow is the one that gives me the extra range. Cool. Yeah, I don't really want gun nut. Okay. Do I want to invest more into strength? Yes. I probably should save for the next floor, but the more damage I do, the easier everything is going to be. Okay, I gotta, I gotta test. I, no, I can't hurt him. Dang. I wonder if it slows him down or something. Well, let's see the sword and how it works. Whoa. I'm not actually convinced that does. I think that's probably better against enemy multiple enemies, and not great against this sucker. Okay. This is chaos. There we go. Got him. Took a little bit. And not too bad. Up we go. Like the animated hot items. It's nice. It's very attractive. You have all the information you generally want on screen. And it doesn't feel terribly cluttered because of how the, uh, the room layout works. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Shit, I gotta eat some apples. Laboratory? I'm digging the music in this. It's nice and bloopy. Oh boy, howdy. And that's dead? Alright, cool. Ow. I might have to give Jeff another shot at some point. Oh, he was back here. Nope, nope, holy. Uh, I don't know if I've managed to avoid that. I tried my best. There we go. Let's switch out the... Oh, no. She's the gun merchant. We don't want that necessarily. Was that a smaller chunk? That was a smaller chunk, yes. Okay. Back this direction. Let's not get crushinatored. Okay, I don't know what the hell you are, cheeseburger beast. You scare me. This scares me. I don't know if that... I don't know what is safe. Okay, super flamethrower and the basketball. I like it for the range. The stuff like the flamethrower seems really good, but... It's kind of... Oh, I should have actually picked up the flamethrower first. Ow. Ow. This is really awkward. I'm gonna get killed by a... Whatever the hell this thing is. Basketball feels like kind of pro strats tennis ball. Okay, I see a couple of hearts. That is a good sign. Okay, I think the blood is safe. It feels like an odd thing to say. Give me another bean? Nah, no beans. Beans. Okay. I'm trying to keep my distance. I guess I'll pop these pots real quick. Oh, good. Sweet, blessed HP. I gotta be really careful. Being stuck in melee is rough. Hi. Okay. Peanut Butter Bunny increases your max health. Dwayne Burger. Max health slows you down a bit. 
plus two max HP. Wow, they really want me to be beefy. Well, who am I to deny them? Make me Chonkus! I don't mind being a bit slower for effectively doubling my health. Oops. Do not walk right into that. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. And now we don't have to worry about Big Blue Barf Beast. Well, you know how I said this was a little less gross than Isaac? It's still less gross than Isaac, but it's definitely doing, uh, doing its job of pushing away from that. Okay. Probably shouldn't be destroying all of these, considering some of them can have health, but they can also have money. Destroying a weapon with full ammo raises your max health. Oh shit, that's good. Oh, it's just these guys. Just more Bernie Sanders. Okay, what we found? Oh. There we go. Kind of. Do some damage. There we go. So far, so good. Found the teleporter out of here. Here's the thing, we're missing a couple of rooms. I don't know about you guys, but I am nothing if not an obsessive. Lighter. Absolutely, hell yeah. Basketball time. Welcome to the House of Bounce, suckers. Fine, frankly. Chance for shots to burn enemies. Nice. Don't I have something else that makes enemies burn for longer or something? I think I do. Okay, what do we got in here? Wow. Ow. Well, that burning effect is solid. Okay. Hello, blue beastie. Discover the strange creature in the laboratory. You unlocked a new character, Mumba. Huh. Oh, right, yeah, there's there are a, a shit ton of playable characters. I forgot about that detail. I'm actually really curious about that now. Oh, well. You have the new, new Grounds Tank Man. I'd be really surprised if this didn't have, like, a shit ton of... Uh, Newgrounds references, seeing as it was originally made specifically for Newgrounds. And I killed it. Shh. It's fine. Alright. Back to baseball. The experiment. Oh, I can't, I can't harm that. But I can harm that. Oh boy. Ugh. I think actually hitting this thing with a shotgun is super, super doable. Except for during that specific segment. But yeah, shotgun wrecks this thing. There we go. Evil genius, clear the laboratory. Yeah, red pots are more likely to contain hearts. Facts. Point of no return, the balcony. Ooh. Well, I'm going to just blasto all of these. There we go. Venture further southwest, and you shall return to your su starting point. 
Interesting. Is it kind of maze-ish? Probably shouldn't be destroying all of these. Curious to see how you proceed here. I'm... I love the fact that this level has a gimmick. Beating bomb. Chance for enemies to explode on death. Sure. That sounds risky dangerous. Okay, well, Sayonara basketball. Okay, laser machine gun. And I'm gonna grab the this. And then I'm gonna eat it for some max health. Hey, the fighter! Unlocked Fuji! Perfect. And now we get a laser gun, which I'm not going to eat. Okay, so slime. Increase your fire rate, all your shots become bouncy. Makes you move faster. Milk Bar Lad's t-shirt. Light around you becomes much larger. Sure. I mean, why not? This effectively just all pays for itself. Nope. Whoa. Wait. <laughs> oh boy. That is... That is a pose right there. That is a pose and some other things going on. But I guess it is raining, so I am not that surprised. Weird. Wonder what's inside. I can't shoot it, so I'm going to ignore it for the time being. Hmm. Hmm. See a lot of ropes. I'm going to try another thing. Because we have that one exit. However, we had the point of no return. However... Leave from the edge, descend to the first floor. Wait, what? Is... Can I just loop? Huh. That's yeah, good. Loop your run. So there's looping. Yeah, we'll loop once and then we'll go win. I try and stay away from the idea of looping in most games just because I find looping gets kind of repetitive. On the flip side, uh, it's, let's eat this laser gun while we're here. I don't have to, but I might as well do it before I use it. On the flip side, it's really fun looping very early, like, in a roguelike that I haven't played a whole lot of. Because then I can get really nutty really fast. Uh, and see how things go. Shotgun shells travel fa faster at a longer distance. Hell yeah. Reveals the locations of secret rooms and chance for your shots to explode. Wow, shit got expensive. Oh, does looping actually make it harder? Because I noticed everything is more expensive. I don't know if it makes things harder. These guys are certainly a little tougher feeling. But I'm still killing them hella fast. Okay. Hard to tell. Chaos tokens. Randomizes all of it. No, thank you. And yes, you are correct. I do have a shotgun. Ugh. Hi. That does make an, a... Make a difference. Uh, let's see. Chaos is fun, though. Chaos is fun when I know what I'm doing. Oh, there's the laser machine gun. But here's the thing. Boomerang. Foosh. Nope. I must become the beefiest. The swollest. I'm gonna have so much health. Okay, raise strength further. Oh. Well, 
Chaos Weapon would be fun. Oh, absolutely. Nope. Beans. Beans? Beans. Beans. That is really satisfying. <laughs> okay. Nope. That warps us back. Keep getting out here. Keep trying to grab stuff. And s nope. There we go. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely gonna have to end the night after this, but this is good. Diet pills. Move faster when you enter a room. That's usually actually a mistake. Oh my gosh, that's a mistake. I have made terrible decisions here, but you know what? It's fine. Because you know what? I own my mistakes. Billiard balls. But instead, I eat them. Because it's machine pistol. Which I also eat. How much HP can I have? All of the HP. Why? Because I want to be healthy. I want to be wealthy. Because things got expensive. Inflation is rough. There we go. I don't know if there's any more achievements for having shit tons of health, but I'm gonna try and find them. I love how the number of items that I've picked up has actually started to interfere with the map now. <laughs> Do you want to be stealthy? Do you think I'm stealthy? Oh, hey, thank you, Mark Hitty, for the uh, Prime sub. Welcome on in. And also, or Mark Quitty? I probably Mark Quitty. And thank you to B. Lewis for gifting a sub to two left thumbs. I think I already got that, but you know what? I always, I always got to make sure. I've been bad about it lately, and it's something I want to work on. Oh my god! Well, that was a thing. I really appreciate... One, one thing I'm really digging about this is, as far as I can tell, this is one of the fastest roguelikes I think I've ever played. In terms of, like, like, yeah, getting through the level. But if we got to the loop point... If we got to the loop point in half an hour... Like, that's... That's a really good sign for me. Witch be gone. Replaces the witch with two free item chests. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I hope the two free item chests are weird. Probably not, though. Okay. Zip zoo. There we go. But one of the things that uh, I think has turned me off of roguelikes recently is actually how long they are. Um, I think looping actually has kind of the potential for solving that for the shorter ones. Um, but for me, like, the perfect length lowers your max HP by half, increases your damage by 50%. Boy, howdy! I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I've been training for this, this entire run. I mean, sure, on one hand, it's sad to lose all of that HP. On the other hand, now I do a lot more damage. I'll take it. Now I can't tell if they scale because I am ridiculous. Whee. One. Silver pendant. Vases contain more money. Fancy shield. Grants your shield. Uh, shield every two minutes absorbs one damage. I'll take it. I actually take a whole lot of damage anyway. I'm going to just, just assume this is the right way to go. Oh, but I should probably break these. No, oh, well, it's fine. I'd like the money, but I'm not actually sure. Now you don't have anything to spend your money on. But I will absorb wealth. And who knows, maybe the nurse still exists. Because is it, is it every witch or is it just that witch? I am not sure. Uh, let's check this out. Okay. Okay, so the handgun? No. And here's the thing. As much as I like these extra guns, I really like having extra health. Holy shit, that is really fast. It's probably just because it's late and I'm tired. 
But that is, that is spinning at an egregious pace. Slow it down. That's more my style. All my speed for this hour of the night. There we go. Let's see. The health down applies to new health ups as well. Does it? I don't think so. Oh, no, you're right. It probably does. Ow. No, it's fine. We're good. You know what? I'll take it anyway. Just because... Holy shit. Uh, well, this is a problem. Ow. I'm stupid fast, but so is he. Okay, can't get this one. Shoot. Uh, he jumped. Okay, she still exists, which is a plus. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna buy the axe, and then I'm gonna sell the axe, and then I'm gonna buy the hammer. Bought the hammer, and then I'm gonna buy the flame launcher. Okay. Do I have the key? Oh yeah, of course I do. It's floating around my head. Nope, oh, he back. See ya. Oh, that's his hand whooshing up to hit. It honestly looks like he was pulling out his intestines to whip me with. Which was scaring the shit out of me. Oh, can go into the challenge room when you're not being chased. Good to know. Probably too late now, though. Okay. I think I did a lot of damage to it. Oh, boy. There's a lot of you boys. Too many boys. Okay, do I think... Yes. I think I can get back to the challenge room. I'm very fast. Okay, because he's going to chase me. However, he resets for a brief second. There we go. Ammunition. Ammo drops become more frequent. Sure. And buying three items from the shopkeeper gives you a free item chest. <gasps> Goddamn cheese. Oh, shit. Peace out, nerd. I am faster than any... Ow. I deserve that. I des Oh, wait, no. I have the shield. Yes. Suck a duck. I'm gone. Is this the Twitch account of the actual publisher? Yup. Yeah, Two Left Thumbs is a YouTuber that, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say necessarily specializes in, in Newgrounds. Tip, feel no remorse. Uh, I, at some point I'll have to ask you the story of how you, how you linked up with Milk Bar Lads. Uh, oops. And got a publishing deal with them. But yeah, he is... I don't want to say necessarily a little bit more regular dude than some of the other publishers I work with. So it should not be terribly intimidating. 
I'll take the title of Newground Specialist. I mean, as far as YouTubers that I know of, you rank... Oh, gosh. Whatever the hell that guy is. Who is that guy? Jeebus. These masks are, are fast. All right. Can't open that up. Ow. Huh. This guy just absolutely bounced me into the pots, and I was not ready for it. Bullet brain. Weapon spawn with more ammo. Hmm. Well, that would be useful. It's like Ross Perot. I'll take it. Some of these enemy patterns are harder for me to avoid. There's got to be a story behind why that guy looks like the way he does. Upon taking damage, we'll release a barrage of projectiles and... Complete ammo refill for your current weapon at the start of every floor. Which is pretty good. Klepto! 35 items in a single run. Heck yeah. Let's get more. Oop. That gets me some stuff. Oh, that does give me the item chest. Hell yeah. Destroying a weapon will create a new, different weapon that cannot be destroyed. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Now, do we have it? No, she doesn't have, have enough for me to buy to get a full three. Which is a bit tragic, but understandable. However, the synergies here are absurd. Aha! You thought you could escape me. I use the power of never mind. That hurt. Oh well, it's fine. I'm hoping for more beans here. Like I said, freaking terrifying. That's the warp back. Okay, I am narrowly dodging some of these, and not entirely through my own efforts. Burn masks. Thank you. Avoid that. Alright. So we get a big grenade launcher. And the golden gun. Well, here's the thing. Sawed off shotgun. Can't destroy that one. Undefined. Hell yeah, I'm taking this thing, whatever the hell it does. Okay. Nope. Oh, it bounced. That's what it is. Okay, still got a bit more. I like how the music is the same, but it ups in intensity when an enemy is nearby. That's a nice, that's a nice twist. Sure. Whatever this is, I will get. Error. You better worry about whatever the hell this is. Oh my god, it does damage. Thank you, shield. Oh, he ain't dead yet. I think it died. What does this gun do? Chance to receive coins upon entering a room for the first time. I will take it. Everything got confusing and very fast. Me included. Oh, is this a big spender? When a weapon runs out of ammo, you continue firing money instead. I mean, that's, like, really good for me, considering I have practically no use for money anymore. There's the boss. There's the boss. 
I am so fast. Is your gun a cookie clicker now? Yes. I shit, like my second item turned this game into cookie clicker. Oh my god, it does a hundred damage! Oh, that's why this gun is ridiculous. It fires every gun, or every shot. Cool, I like it. Did I max out my stats? Not quite yet. All right, now we're going back up to the rooftop. I think it's rooftop time. I'm not gonna loop again. I could, nope, laboratory. Okay, number of secrets too. Friends till the end. Move faster and slow down nearby enemies. Well, yeah, sure, why not? We're working on them beans again. Here's the problem. Oh, she's got things on sale. Do we lose the... What is the cube? Squash them. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna eat gun. I like the undefined gun. Don't get me wrong. However... Eating gun for max HP sounds like a really good idea to me right now. And we have the cube. Meat shooter. Fires meat. Mumble launcher. Live rounds. Uh, you guys got a preference here? We got bombs, we got the mumble launcher, and meat. Increases damage for machine guns. Meat cookies. Uh-uh. Ugh. I guess we can try it. Oh, it makes the worst noise. Damage ain't that amazing, however, it has a hell of a lot of ammo. I'll take it. There we go. Oh, more gun. Well... Wait. Okay. We've got the laser blade, which... Oh, damn it, I shouldn't have done that. Can't can't be destroyed. However, we have this. Wait. I just... I just used it, which means no ammo. Which means... Oh! Boy, howdy. We'll just... Do this. It's fine. Yeah, shame about the meat. Oh, never mind. Not shame about the meat. This got weird. Bullets travel faster. Sure. Let's call it that. Hello, goon. Goodbye, goon. This thing does chew through ammo at an accelerated pace. But, you know what? It's fine. Bean. Bean. Uh... Heart. There we go. More bean. More bean. Take me away from here. Shame about Wander's vision. What, am I missing stuff? I don't give a damn. I care so much more about missing stuff if I wasn't grossly incandescent. Like I said, oh, the flamethrower. Okay, sorry. I get a, I get a little touchy when people uh, get uh, get snitty at me for missing things. Ever since uh, Undermine, I've just had this kind of weird complex about people calling me out. Increases damage and fire rate for every weapon besides your default weapon. Hell yeah, sure. Why not? 
Ah, sweet. Undefined. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to eat it. And we're going to get the Mumble Launcher. Well, I got to say, the Mumble Launcher certainly does damage. Revengeance. A big explosion when you hit 1 HP. And Dumbbell. Chance to fire a large, heavier projectile. Hell yeah. Okay. Pretty sure they're tougher. 2,000 coins at once. Hell yeah. It's a little weird that they bleed, but that's okay. I've been always yelling mall gold. It was problematic. Like, there are a few games that I can point to uh, where I can safely say that, like, the people watching me play that game ruined it for me, and that is, like, king. That and Forager. I think every gamer has a complex about backseat gaming, especially when it comes to missing things when there's a thousand projectiles on the screen. Yup. I, I know there are a couple of streamers that are, like, totally cool with it. I'm just like, how are you cool with this? It is, like, the most obnoxious thing. How are you not dead? Got him. Alright, now we're on the roof. Now I should be able to leave, right? I hope so. Tip. Too easy. Try harder difficulty. No, this difficulty actually feels really nice and fun for me. I could go harder, but honestly, I like gun, gun shooty bang, bang, easy pants. I'll probably scale it up eventually. It's kind of one of those things with like atomic crops where I was just like, you know, I like this difficulty. Then eventually I'm like, but I could do it harder. And then I eventually settled on, like, difficulty 6 or 7, and then I felt good about myself. Then I heard about Rito's shenanigans, and I was like, never mind. You can technically loop again, but you'll want to test your might here. Oh, absolutely. Obtain an item whenever you delete a weapon. I mean, that's... Ah, shit. Well, Mercury Glob. Gold coins will never drop, silver coins become worth more. And we have a cute little duckling. I'll take it. I wish I hadn't accidentally uh, eaten both of those chests there, but it's fine. Modding kid, damage and fire rate for your default weapon. Sure. And shrimp ramen, increase the fire rate and shot speed when you have less than 100 bucks. Ah, shoot. Actually, it would be legitimately hard to pull off. I don't know if I can do that one, so we're going up. Been streaming for fun a bit recently, and it's made me appreciate that running commentary is hard and tiring when you play a game. Also, maybe blind is a bat to things right in front of me. Don't even have an audience to chat with or heckling me. The trick is always to pretend that you have an audience talking to you. Okay, so this is the actual dead estate. Wow, this has got some Hello Womb vibe vibes going on right now. I don't think there's much else for it. Found the exit. I'm gonna kill this boss with a rubber, rubber duckling. Intruder detected. Lockdown initiated. Four. Three. Two. One. Am I just stunlocking him with an endless deluge of... An endless deluge of rubber ducklings? I think I am. I 
think he's supposed to be a lot scarier than this. Oh, the, well, there goes the witch. Use this. Rocket. Oh, that's. Finish it. As Jules defeat Chunk in under a minute, you unlock Jules' B costume. Well, that's some that's some Resident Evil 2 right there. And one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Well, that was fun. So we've unlocked a lot of people. Clear loop run, got Lewis. I'm so glad that okay, so we also got the realtor. <laughs> Well, sorry, Jeff. <sighs> it's so charming. One thing I really like about roguelike is roguelikes, especially, is especially uh, when you've maybe overtuned it for easy a little bit. Uh, there's kind of that feeling of like, yeah, I just beat a game tonight, and now I can end the stream and go to bed very satisfied. I mean, I beat what two games today. It's good. I love it. Yeah, the final boss is Chunk. Yeah, why not? I mean, he's been chasing you the entire game. But that's not the end. There's, of course, so much more. Because I, I know there's the the coffin with the locks on it. So there's definitely more to, the, more to this than that. I know that for sure. Plus, we have other characters to play as and a bunch of other things to do. But that was really fun. I enjoyed that. I will probably just load this up. Uh, for the next couple of months, just kind of whenever. Hey, thank you to Graham from Two Left Thumbs for publishing Dead Estate and helping us make this happen. Thank you, Graham. Um, I was gonna say. Yeah, this will probably be my, hey, I'm out of things to stream for the night. Let's just, uh, play like a round or two of, of Dead Estate. Now try beating the game as Jeff. Oh. I mean, actually true. Actually true. All right. Well, we will do that another night whenever I need to fill some space. But for now, my voice hurts. <laughs> you see the weapons a character selects. Ah, uh, oh boy. I don't know. So she's got hairspray. I don't know what she has. Uh, what? Yeah. Costume A? Costume B. Oh. I like her costume B. We've also got this guy. This will be fun. A lot of different characters to play as. Alright, anyway, like I was saying, voice hurts, so I will see you all next time.